Hi, my name is Tom Canning, and today I'll let you take five minutes and talk to you about real-time monitoring solutions for the Enterprise Data Center. From energy visibility to energy savings, you can now take immediate action to increase data center reliability, gain capacity, and save energy by leveraging real-time fine-grained visibility into your data center's energy usage and thermal profile. If you're a facilities or IT manager, 2010 is the year for lowering energy costs and recovering power and cooling capacity. But unfortunately, trying to do this while still continuing to deliver mission critical applications with zero downtime. Sounds like 2010 is gonna be a rough year, doesn't it? And to make matters even tougher, you might be asked to deliver on energy saving initiatives without receiving any additional headcount or budget. Yikes. But wait, it actually gets even worse. Have you been asked to deliver metrics and reduction percentages by the folks creating your CSR report yet? Is your company gearing up for their first annual CSR report and the corporate energy and carbon reduction numbers are in the spotlight? Which also puts you in the spotlight? I mean, you have the highest density environment within the enterprise. So you will be dragged into this at some point or another. So you better start to get ready now. That's why I like wireless sensor solutions. They're a fast and low cost way to lower energy usage, reduce operational costs, and unlock hidden power and cooling capacity to accommodate additional IT and server growth. Tech refresh is a given, and it's not going away anytime soon. Wireless energy and environmental monitoring solutions are a simple and fast way to defer new and expensive capital expenditures, and yet still maintain equipment reliability. These integrated hardware and software solutions are cost-effective to install, can scale from small labs to multi-hundred thousand square foot facilities, and best of all, they won't disrupt any IT or facilities operations. Wireless sensor network technology can help you measure power, temperature, humidity, gas, and water flow, and can deliver real-time visibility to any enterprise desktop. Multiple view settings provide high-level rolled-up reporting for executives, as well as granular views for problem detection by IT and facility folks. Because the sensors are wireless, you can deploy tens to thousands of sensors on server racks and other equipment and start diagnosing energy and thermal problems within hours. You can literally deploy sensors in the morning and be fixing problems by the afternoon. Sensors can also be easily moved and redeployed as needed, so you have maximum flexibility as the data center layout or density changes, which we all know it does. Some solutions on the market today support an open data model, allowing for easy data import, data export from legacy devices, applications, and enterprise dashboards. This could be as simple as a CSV export, a web service call, or even a direct database connection. You see, gaining visibility into the operation of your data center is just as much about increasing the density of your sense points and data collection as it is about solving the integration challenge of the existing disparate data sources that currently exist there. Open Web Services APIs and other standard protocols provide flexible integration options so you can finally integrate, normalize, and understand the collected data that exists within your data center and then take the necessary actions to remediate. So what can you actually do with all this data? Well, let me share three common use cases that are perfect for real-time monitoring. The first one, I'll call it the three C's, consumption, capacity, and cost. It's time that we understand the true energy consumption of the data center, the available capacity that exists, and the actual costs, both at a macro level domains, as well as to a micro level at the rack, and ultimately the server. Strategically placed wireless sensors can monitor and trend data across your complete energy chain. This trend data can serve as the perfect data set for initiating and focusing your greening exercises, as well as provide CSR baseline and reduction metrics. Number two, containment. Everybody is talking about hot aisle and cold aisle containment. As we increase the rack densities and we start to contain rows, we need to be really careful about inlet temperature and row differential pressures. ASHRAE suggests three-point rack monitoring every couple of racks at the 1U, 21U, and 42U locations. So wireless temp sensors are a fast and easy way to increase your temperature sense point density, and as you adjust the airflow, pressure, and temperature within the contained rows, be able to safely maintain reliability and service delivery. Remember, the whole game here is about delivering applications. 
Finally, number three, real-time PUE and CO2. It's time to baseline your data center and start continuously tracking the results of energy efficiency measures to decrease your PUE. This could include simple remediations like the installation of blanking plates, perf tile optimization, CRA or DX synchronization, demand fighting elimination, and finally set point adjustment. Many enterprises today realize the biggest savings are realized by increasing set points or even shutting off a few air handlers or DX units since that cooling capacity is just not required. Run a five or 10 horsepower motor for no reason and you're wasting energy, money, and a really good motor. But back to PUE and CO2 for a second. If you're part of a large company, the sustainability folks will really appreciate or possibly be already demanding this data for their CSR reports. So you might as well get started. Today when we drive a car, we've got a full dashboard of available data. Speed, miles per gallon, time to destination, alerts if we're low in fuel. And because of this available real-time information, we're able to safely make the trip, reduce the risk of breaking down, and we ensure the success of our voyage. It's my experience today that a lot of data centers are being driven blindly. Like dirt on a windshield, there's a clear lack of visibility into the operational efficiency and cost of one of the most valuable resources in the enterprise, the data center. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, yes, I'd like to raise my set points and start to save money. Yes, I'd like to minimize the risk of hot spots and server failure. And finally, yes, it's time for me to either to measure or improve my current PUE, that I would invite you to further investigate a solution which offers low-cost wireless sensors, a robust enterprise-class energy application, and the support and integration services to help you get started on this very important path to saving energy and money it's time to take immediate action. Start saving energy and money today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you.